Hi there. Hey, I want to show you a trick that John Pisano, world-class guitarist, showed me a long time ago, and it really works. If you want to have, if you have problems of your pick flying out or it moving around different angles, here's what he does. He'll take his pick and draw, or draw, not draw, but drill three or four little holes in it. And I've done this with several picks. Even the big fat ones with like this is a Dura pick. And it stabilizes that pick within your fingers. What happens is the meat of your fingers go in those little holes and gives us something to grip on. Especially these little ones that move around. Works great. Three or four little holes. I drill them on this. And you know, I don't even a shark pick. Now what it doesn't work on is the acrylic picks like the v-pick it breaks them so don't do it on those i'd love these little picks this is a uh, fender i think it's a 357 heavy or extra heavy works great you don't have that problem of the pick moving within your grip it just stays pretty solid so check it out drill those little holes but be very careful don't hold it with your fingers okay don't hold it with your fingers Use something like this to hold the pick and just drill three or four little holes in there. It takes just a few seconds and it's done. you got a real stable pick. Now, you don't use this for roach clips anymore, you guys. All right, just use them for picks. So, um, even with these big picks, you know, it gives you a lot of room. It just makes it more stable. Now, sometimes it might... My light just kind of went out. Come on. <clears throat> it's on a motion light. Sometimes what happens is it might uh, loosen up the pick's stiffness. So be careful. Just check it out. You know, be careful. Don't draw. Don't do six or seven. You don't need all that many. Just a few, three or four. That's all you need. And boy, it just makes a big difference in that pick being stable. Doesn't move all around. So check it out. Try it out. Let me know what you think, okay? I'll talk at you later.